Hey, I'm Nick Fire, and today I'm playing Planet Coaster by Frontier Developments. Very excited for this game. Never really got into the theme park building games before, but this one looks fantastic. And John's been playing it all weekend, and John has never been wrong about a video game, except for Albion Online. Let's jump in and take a look. Career! Embark on a career in theme park management, complete varied and increasingly challenging scenarios, and see how far you go. Sandbox and challenge. My parks, which I have none of. Tutorial videos, which we do not need. Pirate battle. I've asked me hearties and welcome to Planet Coaster. Shiver me timbers and take charge of this explosive pirate park. Complete ride construction, draw in the crowds, give your guests a swashbuckle and good time. That feels like something I can do. Okay, easy, attract 800 guests. We've already got 644. Medium, attract 900 guests. Hard, 1,100 guests. Oh god, the tutorial! <laughs> Okay, so I gotta build a ride. I'll tell you what though, this place is already looking pretty impressive. I mean, that roller coaster is epic. You got a little, you got a boat here. You got these guys shooting guns. Uh, but I feel like this, this spot, distinctly empty. Uh, you got the octopus there. We need something here. Rides. Insanity. Oh, is that like a big dip situation? Those like, drop you up and then drop you down things? Teacups? Oh, teacups! I mean, that is definitely pirate themed. Pirate themed, having a little sea... A sea brunch. Uh, the worst little carousel in the world. Or, uh, this thing. <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> Wild blue. Excitement, 5.49. Fear, 4.86. Nausea, 4.68. I mean, I feel like we want to make people sick. Nausea 4.61, 4.62, all right, you win. You win, Wild Blue. Don't quite know what you are. I guess you just, oh, they're planes. And it just spins around. Awful, awful. I shouldn't be playing this game because Pocketeers, I'll let you in on a little secret. I f***ing hate amusement parks. I hate them. I hate the scary rides. I hate the sick rides. I hate the mascots. I hate all the people there. Uh, there's not. I hate the crass commercialism. I hate the fact that they're all rip-offs rip -offs of other rides. It's all terrible. My park's different though. My park is combining pirates with, uh, with aeroplanes. Like 1920s aeroplanes. To open this ride, you'll need a park entrance. I feel like I put it in a good spot as well. Park entrance. Uh, where are we gonna put the entrance? Let's put it here. Uh, and then we'll place an exit, and we'll put it right next to the entrance. There. Really make people walk for their supper. Uh, and by walk for their supper, I mean walk to vomit. Uh, connect entrance to path. Place a path, delete a path, raise or lower the path. Ooh! Close path door. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, how much money do I have? Where's my money? There. I've got $4,536.16. That's a dollar per meter. I reckon we can do better than that. A dollar per meter, a dollar per meter, a dollar per meter. Okay, so this is all, all the cheap shit. Uh, I like the wooden queue though. I feel like that goes well with our um, aeroplane theme. That's so stairs. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. And then we'll bring him down. Bring him down, bring him down. And then we'll draw it along here. Can I just drag? Dragging would be great. Maybe not, oh no. Go down. Okay, just a little path there. It's like uh, the queue itself is a, uh, is a tiny ride. That you might want to go, oh, this is a fun way to get to this ride. And by the time you're there, you're so exhausted that you're just happy to sit down. And so you get there and you sit down and you're like, oh, finally, just a bit of ride. Vroom! Vomit. Excellent. And my line came with a free little guy that's gonna rip ticks. He's a tick ripper. <laughs> okay, cool. And now the exit. Aha. Aha. I've got an idea. How much money do I have? 5,000. More than when I started putting down this stupid path. Let's do colorful cobblestones with a stone trim. Oh, and it turns it all like that. How delightful. Uh, so we'll give it a bit of this. Curve it back that way. And then you will get to see all your friends have fun. Unbuildable. Okay, this is a, we'll remove that. We'll remove that one. Let's just go this way. We'll build it up here. And what I want, we'll turn it around a bit. And we'll bring it over here. Oh, whoops. I put it, there's a cheeky square down there just to let you know that that is, that's the beginning of the line. Uh, we'll go over here. 
I mean, it's terrific that it just puts poles in. That's so helpful. And down, 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 down. I've built it right in, I, that's, that's what I've done. I've built it right into a cliff. So we'll just adjust it a bit that way, like so. And then finally, we bring it down to here. And is that the end or do I need to connect it to an actual path? Hey, John, do I need to connect it back to the path? Here we go! I found the path! Okay, uh, now we bring it down in a steep incline, and then we... What is obstructing that? Good lord. <laughs> Touchdown! And loop it back around and close that bad boy off! Terrific! Our people can now get off the ride. Money spinner. 52 of 100. Don't know what that means, I guess. <laughs> I spent a fortune on pathing. Is that is that the achievement I unlocked? So people come in. Uh, they come into the ride by this path right here. And they walk over up the hill and go there. And then when they're done, they're nauseous and they hate the park. They go up this staircase across here. They see all the other people having fun. They go down here, around here, back through here. I don't know how they get around that area, but they do. Uh, and then go through the coaster back down here right next to where they started so that like if they go grandma you wait here and I'm gonna go on the ride grandma doesn't lose them as long as grandma is willing to wait eight hours for them to come back terrific let's open that ride boom all right come on you coming oh. rejected <laughs> uh, oh but look at these people they cannot wait they cannot wait! To them, the ride is in fact, this is the thing, this is what's so subtextual about my park. The ride is actually the line. Brilliant. Okay. Next, uh, next, next thing I need to do. Easy. Build two rides. Okay. <laughs> Let's build a second ride. Good lord! Uh, and we'll put, we'll just put Insanity. And we'll sit it literally there. That's the lazy man's option. <laughs> no one is on the ride yet. The ride has been open for hours. <laughs> they still haven't made it. That's a big old tick. Build two rides. Attract 800 guests. I'm sure once they hear about the line, they will do it. Uh, build four rides. I've built three. So I just need to build another ride. I wonder how I attract people. I'm guessing rides. Shops and facilities. I don't have any of this stuff. Oh, I've got shops. Oh, I have shops. Oh, this is how I could attract people. Bozo the Clown. People love clowns. They love clowns! We'll just make sure a clown watches them. Well, they're on the line ride. You're nearly there. I'm so excited for you. I mean, I'm sorry you took so long we had to start the ride without you. Uh, this is just a test run to make sure that the planes don't actually fly off. Oh, this ride would just be a nightmare. Not only is this a giant clown staring at you while you're on it, uh, but people are loving this one. They're strapping themselves in, ready to go. Looking at the back of a clown head. Most popular attraction, the high seas. Well, screw you. I think we did great. Peter, it's not a shot. It's a monument to fear. Uh, I would love if this ride stopped so that the giant queue could get on it. Many guests are thirsty. I bet they are. Because there's no way they can get into the clown mouth. Uh, standard restroom block 132 is not accessible from the park entrance. Show me the facility. Oh, it is the clown. That's a restroom? Talk to me about Bozo the Clown. What are you? It doesn't say anything other than you just did. Oh. oh, oh my god, it is. It is a restroom. That's where you pee. You pee in the clown. The music is epic now, by the way. Uh, should I put... I should probably just connect a path to the clown mouth. So that it's not just for fear, it's also for relieving your fear. A lovely blue path is what it's called. And we'll take it out... Sharp turn. Of course, we'll, we'll connect it to this path, so if you do need to pee out of fear, you, you will need to go back to me. Are people on this yet? There they are. There they are. He's so excited. A lot of dudes on this ride. Oh, come on, that was a giant queue. Why, why is that empty? No, you guys are going to be here all day. All right, 
Something else that is cool about Planet Coaster is you can actually experience the ride. My goodness, the bathroom is so busy. You can actually experience the ride from the perspective of the people who are on it. Uh, so if I click the ride, and then I ride camera, so that's what the ride looks like. Uh, and then I can go in a seat, and this is what we're experiencing. We're, I mean, it's pretty much looking at the hills, and then all the people that need to pee, and then this is the clown nightmare. Uh, a lovely view of all the path, and of course the ride stops as we are trying to show this feature off. But we can see all the beautiful people who, who are waiting for it. I mean, isn't that brilliant? Oh my goodness, you can even change which cabin you're in. That's so cool! Hello friends. Look how excited this one is. Loving it. Loving it. Okay, cool. So I've done the easy one. I just need to do the medium, which is build another ride. Uh, so, which ones haven't I put down? I might put the teacups, because I feel that really fits in with the pirate, pirate theme. Oh, does it fit? It doesn't fit! <sighs> I was like, God, that is such a weird place for a staircase. Why would anyone, why would the game have put a staircase there? The game didn't, Nick did. Uh, connect the entrance to a path. Okay, so there's no way to drag the paths, but I can make them longer or shorter by just hitting plus or minus. Uh, we'll go through that, which seems very structurally unsound. Oh no, it just moved it. Oh, funky. Continue. And then my final challenge is attract 1,100 guests and acquire $15,000. So my dollars are ticking up, which is fine. I will put this on fast forward because that will certainly make things better. And a drink shack. People like drinks, right? They love beef. People are mad for beef. The beef can go there. Where's the beef? It's right there. Between the two ridiculous paths. Where am I gonna put it? I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put a drink shack right next to it so people can get their drinks. Multiple shops are not accessible from the park. Yep, no worries. You could give me just maybe two seconds in order to connect some paths, but no. Oh, if I just put you there. Boom! And then you, move you. Drink Shack it up! By the way, that thing I just did in two seconds, this so far has been the best design I've ever done in this entire park. Food, right off here. I mean, that is what you would see in a real theme park. Food and drink available easily. Look out! It's the most popular thing in the bloody park! There are a lot of overflowing bins in the park. Make sure janitors e empty them regularly. Sure. How? That's, that's just their job. I'm Park Master. I'm Anthony Hopkins. I'm not supposed to be sitting here worrying about the janitors. Let's see how the park's going. End of month summary. This is the park, this is, this is not my, the janitors, not my job. The balance books, the design, that's all me. Monthly profit, plus $6,000, terrific. Park rating change, minus 16. <laughs> Why? Let me look into this in more detail. Okay, so green is obviously good. Uh, we've got a whole row of red here, which is, <laughs> which is park management. So the only thing that has dropped down is my contribution to the park. Uh, I do blame the janitors. Okay, so obviously I have, I have not been the leader that this park needs, so I might try a different scenario. But if we just pull back for a second and admire my handiwork from space, apparently, uh, I really feel like it was a bit dull and drab until I added a bit of color and uh, just a whole lot of cobblestones. Okay, scenario number two, Creature Awakens. Rumors of engineers meeting Sticky End scared off this park's staff, leading to its recent sale. Oh goodness. The bargain price presents an irresistible opportunity, so hire some new staff, complete construction of the park, and ignore reports of strange noises underground. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Terrific. It's already closed and pretty much bankrupt, so I can't make it worse. <clears throat> tentacles! <laughs> Why tentacles? Hire two janitors. You screwed me over last time. Build two rides, hire two mechanics, build five rides, hire two engineers, attract a thousand guests. All of this is very easy until we get to attract guests. Okay, hire two janitors, build two rides. Staff. Where would I find staff? Park management. Staff. I don't want to be ageist, but here's the problem. The janitors are a hundred. That's why they can't keep up with the bins. Or the paperwork. Uh, put you in the gaping mall, perhaps? Maybe just around the gaping mall. So... I mean, it said, finish the rides. I don't see a ride, let alone many rides, which would constitute 
an entire park. Uh, but there's certainly a lot of people waiting. Oh. Oh! I stand corrected. Where are you going? Holy shit. See you guys. I'm off to discover what this ride is that all of you are waiting for. Uh, because from space, which is where we judge all successful parks, looks terrible. Oh, Dad cannot wait. Dad is aching for it. Anytime. Why would you put me on here if I'm not ready to go? This is why I hate theme parks. Goodbye. This is awesome. I'm just going on a ride. Which I hate. Oh my god. I assume I can build all this. Because it's in the game. There's the Kraken. Oh, Dad's freaking out about the Kraken. Oh no, he's fine. The doors are really a bit of a mood killer. Uh, there's more Japanese pornography. Dad is loving it! You kinky mother. I understand that Dad seems very easily pleased. But so far this ride has really yet to show me something particularly fascinating other than just a series of rooms with different tentacles. That feels... not deliberate. <laughs> that, that felt too real. Why would... Mmm. Mmm. Want to get off now? We kind of need to finish it out. We've come this far. It's kind of, the, this is this is why I don't like amusement parks. Because if you're not enjoying it, you just gotta sit there and ride it out. Look at the giant eggs. This is Warner Brothers Movie World. Holy shit! All right, all right, kicking it up a bit. How's dad taking it? Still mad for it. And now, just as we come out, back into the sunshine, the whole thing collapses. And there's the picture. That's the thing. It takes the picture of you to go like, hey, I had fun, but it takes the picture at the end, as opposed to where it should, which is when the big thing come up and it would be a picture of me doing this. Because that's what I did. We're gonna leave it there. Okay, so that is Planet Coaster. Heaps of fun so far. Obviously, I've barely scratched the surface of the game. I've only done really one scenario and then just criticized another one. Uh, but th there's so much depth here. Uh, the really nice thing though is it's all quite simply displayed to you. I probably could have used the tutorial videos at the beginning just to give me some awareness of what the UI is. I, I muddled my way through it and yelled out for John to help a couple of times, but it feels a lot like The Sims where everything is just quite clear. You click on this thing and then it opens up the menu that has all your options quite easily presented. There's a lot of depth here, but it's all, it's simplistic. There's the paths and then you can select multiple paths that you want and that's the paths menu. That will always be the paths menu. So once you get a hang of it, it's gonna be quite easy to build. And that's the key thing about this game. Super easy to build things. Like I said, I haven't played a huge amount of these amusement park games, but I used to play lots of SimCity and that sort of thing. and. And these games suffer when they just become really finicky and annoying to build things. If you misplace something and then you punished for that the whole game. Here I was building a path earlier and there was a, a sort of pylon there that was holding up another path that I had built and I wanted to go through it and it just moved the pylon for me and that's fantastic. It should be as easy as possible to do this. The paths are just finding their own way through the roller coaster, the stairs are easy to make, all that sort of thing. So uh, very, very exciting. Also, the rides that I placed in the first place were just rides that I could put down. But when I put down that clown shop toilet block thing, the monument to fear, if you look at it, you actually realize, oh, it's made out of individual pieces. There was tubing and stuff that I'm sure I can unlock later and actually start building my own personalized little monstrosities to put around everywhere. So very excited to dive more into that as well. Using these... <clears throat> Using these opening scenarios is really smart as well. It's kind of like the Little Big Planet single player campaign where you go through and you go, oh, uh, here's all these different cool ideas for levels and stuff and you get some inspiration and then I'm gonna go do my own and then you can't do it at all. This this one here playing right now, the whole thing's underground. You can terraform underground, put this whole railroad thing in. Like, that's awesome that this is the level of depth that I can make a ride and then ride it, uh, actually just be part of the theme park is, is really fantastic. I'm absolutely going to be putting more time in this. Hopefully 
hopefully I can build something of interest. Usually I'm pretty rubbish at building stuff in games, but maybe there's a market out there for people who just want to ride long queues around nice looking objects that were already there in the first place. We'll have to find out. All right, that's it for today's episode of Pocket My Pocketeers. Nick Bayer, mwah! This guy has not kicked me off the ride so far as well. That's saying something. That's significant. I, I mean, it's very annoying for all these people, but great for me.